create a water barrier to annoy your friends or bring the water level up for some pleasing water dynamics. Hello everybody and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. A water barrier is a water source block that is one block higher than all of the water around it. And this can be useful when uh, creating some sort of annoying, annoying wall that you can't get over with a boat. I'll show you how uh, in just a second. But it's a difficult thing to create if only there were some automated redstone contraption that was inexpensive to build. Oh wait, that's what this tip is all about. So this is the contraption that we are going to be making today. And uh, let me just explain what is going on here. First, this is the result, which is a uh, water source block one higher than where it should be, basically. Free water for all. We're just creating water here out of thin air. Uh, you can see what the contraption is doing is it's pushing along an armor stand with frost walker boots. There is a piston on this side picking up that ice. And once it picks it up, it turns it into a water source block. And then the whole contraption moves forward again. Now, why would you do something like this? Uh, and this armor stand is just going to go way down into the deep. Sorry, armor stand. Well, you would do something like this in order to either create a hazard for other players because they cannot get through this uh, uh, water. Uh, basically, whenever a boat goes into it, you will sink the boat down to the bottom of the ocean. Now, of course, this can be easily gotten around by getting out of the boat and then swimming to the other side of this and then placing your boat down again but it is a little bit annoying, but maybe good in some sort of PVP scenario, uh, or by raising a large body of water by one block, and you can easily create this uh, to go all the way across, then rebuild it to go back across, then rebuild it to go back across and raise uh, the water sources by one, uh, w which would be really, really useful for a lot of builds. So how do you create it? Well, first go ahead and find an area that you want to aim across. Uh, we're gonna use this right here and we're gonna aim that direction and start off by placing down an iron bar. Then place two slime blocks on top of that with a temporary block and a piston facing towards the direction that you want to go. And this is just a normal piston. Then destroy that temporary block and place a sticky piston facing back into the slimes with a block of redstone on top. Now, this has created a block update detector because once this piston realizes that it should be powered by this, it will fire off. So that is what our flint and steel is for. Whenever you want to start this contraption, go ahead and click this piston with the flint and steel. Now let's go ahead and put down a temporary block again, a slime block, one under, one off to the side, and one facing back towards our contraption. And then you're gonna place redstone, and we're gonna break that temporary block uh, on top and on the uh, front of these slimes. Now, one sticky piston facing directly down. This will be the one that pulls up the source block uh, once it touches this redstone. Finally, two more bits of uh, temporary blocks with a piston facing the contraption. And you're basically ready to go. Go ahead and put down a runway for your armor stand and it does need at least one more block in front of it to work. You can't just uh, place it only on one. And then add your Frostwalker 1 boots. It is suggested that you use Frostwalker 1 Otherwise, there'll be too much ice and it may update a little bit weird uh, and, or it may be broken. The ice may break uh, but before it gets over here to this sticky piston to start it off. So now to start the contraption, just tap your flint and steel on the side of this piston. And there it goes. And it's off. Uh, and it has created this nice water source block. Now you can definitely see now, especially with two of these in the way if they went all the way across this would be very 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 annoying 
to get past if you were trying to get somewhere important on a boat on the water. And then when you want this to stop, you can just update uh, that uh, that piston again and it will stop. Now, uh, keep in mind that when you do that, you will be losing that armor stand. Of course, you can swim back down and pick it up. Also, you can't let this get too, too far away from you. Uh, otherwise, it will uh, stop once it becomes unloaded. Uh, and then finally, if you don't want to use an armor stand, you can use the player to uh, be the armor stand. Just go ahead and stand right here and let it start to fire and push you along, which will definitely make sure that the chunks don't unload while you're not standing next to the contraption. Great work by Ray Works in creating this redstone contraption. His video explains a little bit more in detail and gives you a few tips about how the boats work specifically. So check that out in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. Make sure you leave a like, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you subscribe, and of course make sure you check, check out Ray Works' original video and subscribe to him as well. Thanks for all the hard work. See you next time on OMG Craft.